I am going to now show you guys an even more interesting thing to do for a dollar or a couple bucks is create a radiation shield for your windows and your home. This is already prefabricated, but I'm going to show you how to do this. What we've got is simple styrofoam. In this particular case, I've got a couple pieces and I'm just going to join them together and uh, create a very simple wrap here. Okay, great. Let's get started. Now, as you can see, this is a very, very big piece. It folds out, and this is going to save you in the, in, ultimately in the middle of the winter from getting uh, what is called hypothermia, too cold. If you wrap it around your body, it'll protect you as well. That's why they call it an emergency blanket. And you can get these for about a dollar, literally, online. Okay. Laying this out, rolling it. I'm going to tape these two pieces together using the wraparound technique. I'm going to go all the way down just for security purposes on one side. This will be the side that faces out. Needs a little bit more stability. Again, the wraparound technique, nice and tight. And these things have little sharp edges on them that usually work. Okay, there you go. So we put those two together and we lay this, this out like so. And then we take this piece and wrap it right around. Okay. Let me... okay. This is a paste that has to go right across. There you go. There you go. And that makes a nice seal right across. See that on both sides? Okay, and then I'm going to cut it off with the edge. Okay, good. I'm going to wrap that down, wrap that down. We're almost done. I'm going to use this little rollover technique because what you want to do is have a little extra lip when you make this connection. So I'm going to have a little extra lip on the end. And what I'm going to do is pull everything nice and taut, bracing it with my knee. There you go. And I recommend taking two smaller pieces, just small, little little teeny pieces like that, and securing both ends before you start working on it. And pulling nice and taut, right there, that secures that end. Similarly, we're going to use this over here, and it's just like wrapping a package, no big deal. Let's secure this right here. Like that view. Very simple stuff. You can get cheap plastic tape like this, it doesn't matter. Pulling it and then laying right out there on top. See? Voila. If you listen to the fear mongers, you will not be prepared to feed your family. And one of the most important tips I'm going to give you right now, and you'll hear this from the feared mongers, the opposite one I'm going to tell you. They tell you, oh, you need to have things to trade. You have to have cigarettes and things that other people want and blah, blah, blah. You have to be able to trade with others. That is the worst thing you can do in the apocalypse if indeed we are in an apocalypse. So if there is a, an apocalypse, do not trade with others because that makes you vulnerable. That puts you at risk. Once you start reaching out to, to the people around you and saying, hey, I've got these things I want to trade, that could be the end of your life and your family's life. So don't jump on that bandwagon of believing that you need things to trade. You need things to eat. You and your family need things to eat. That's the most important thing and you need plenty of fresh water. But like I said, we're going to be going into deep detail to, on this series. It's kind of ironic that they produce so much styrofoam in our country with little or no regard for the end, the cradle to grave uh, process, wherever that thing goes. This would have ended up in, in the garbage. So anyway, I picked this up from a friend who picked it up in a box and now it's ready to go in the window. All right?
that's that with this particular uh, segment, and I'm going to finish up repairing the bio dome itself.